Whoa, whoa. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Keep out. Under construction. Caution. Bees and distress. So... How did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast, rocking inside. Ouch! Rude! How could I lure that hideous beast out? Seems like a waste of money. That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Pick, pick, pickety pick. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Strict decrees forbid us from accepting bribes. Oddly, Addendum 2 lets us accept peanut butter sandwiches in times of distress. A new kind of horn, but the same result. I was too slow to catch those frogs. Do squirrels count as hideous? The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. 
Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. You aren't the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He's a thinking soul, just like us. If he continues down this path, he will have no trouble defeating the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Speak up, boy! So... I've just gotta know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's gonna change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but 
Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will pen for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? Well, we're still working on it. You can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. Always look on the smart side of life. That's the thug who stole my shield. You're in for a world of hurt. Hey, Graham. Sorry, those locks weren't meant for you. First my bed goes missing, and now this, this act of cowardice. If I, when I catch those thieves, their keisters are gonna get a walloping from me and Mrs. Crumbler. Speaking of, have you seen anyone carrying my missing shield around town? Nope, I can't say that I have. Hmm, well, I better keep my doors locked until I find that thief. It's a precautionary measure. No walloping in the shop. You make up your mind? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, look like you spend a lot of time in your head, trying to figure out all the possibilities before making a move. Pick a plan and go. Too much time thinking leads to inaction, and inaction is just boring. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Oh. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? No, I decided I wasn't ready to jump head first into this problem just yet. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I got a generous tip, when I wasn't even here. Ah, oh, bless their soul. They probably left it as a thank you for my charity work. 
No one ever goes hungry when I'm around. Well, now, you fine strapping lad. How may I help you? Oh, hope you're hungry. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast side cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! I know it doesn't sound logical, but I believe that we need to stop thinking with our heads and start opening our hearts! What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what, if you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Good day. Have a crepe day. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thornweeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daventry to grow into the kingdom it is today. No one should notice one bell missing. Better stand on this side of the rock. 
Her horn budge. trap. <laughs> All right, sugar shrooms. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Bees Day, <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. That didn't fit there. Don't worry. The Wetzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. You just pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. Thank you. 
That did. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. Get off that hay bale! Out of those flowers! Put that sack lunch down! Hmm. <laughs> no patch for you. You know why. Reminds me of our son. Chester, you stay away from those! Muriel won't let me eat those. Give it here! Chester! Fine, fine. Sorry. Last time I ate raw meat, I had a bad case of tummy rumbles. Bales are always good for a distraction or two. Boy. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. If you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Fare thee well. May your cap be one of thinking. Is that you, Grim? Hang on a sec. Hey, Grim. What can I get you? How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Trust that gut of yours. That didn't need These are far too sweet for my taste. These are far too sweet for my taste. Fruit? What am I supposed to do, chuck it at someone? These sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. I'm more of a sweet man myself. Looks like we could put some love on those bones. Good day. Don't desert me. <laughs>
Seeing all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. Ahem. Are you paying attention? What? No, I was reminiscing. Sorry. Are you in possession of an eye? He might be a monster, but he isn't hideous. Look at his cheekbones. They're magnanimous. That didn't... Will the squirrels remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. Hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. Do squirrels count as hideous? Come into the daylight, you hideous beasts. Whisper, do it. I tried again, but it was no use. Nothing quiet. You, it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that? <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the Bridges, 
have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says, for shame, Daphne Tree. We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Perolfi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother, my memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ulfi is starving. Pumpkins are not sweet, so Ulfie will not eat. I am here to serve. Good day. Have a sweet time. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie. I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two. Or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Oh, hope you're hungry. Good day. Don't get in any rhubarbs. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. Earthquake! It's all yours now. Whisper can do it. Uh, fret not, Goosey. 
It is the two-eyed Snarling Snarlax after all. London Bridges! Whisper! I, uh, mm, Ulfie has a new plan. First we'll... Then you'll... Then I'll... But first, you'll need this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Is this hideous enough for you? Um, yes. This is... Uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome to the tournament! That troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. You know, like your cousin Hilda. Take that and that! Oh. Mr. Springbottom, what? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. You're just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's dance instead. Twirling and best friends and twirling. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. Ha <laughs> ha! You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637371346737877633.1.5 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? 
Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! Questions? What do I need for the Duel of Speed? Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theatre when you're ready for the Duel of Speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? Do you know where Achaka went? Yes, we need his signature stating that he has voluntarily left the tournament. He was last seen heading towards that old well outside of town. I'd send the guards, but there is a lot of distress past those brambles. Bye! Toodaloo! Step lively, Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time! I'm sure he'll be back any second. He'd better come soon. He probably knows we don't have the croissant. I'm starting to hey, question his commitment to our guild. Maybe I could beat someone to the meeting and hear the password. Nice of you to finally join us, Olfi. Merci. Olfi apologizes for tardiness. I, uh, was, uh... Hey, where are the croissants? I forgot the croissant, okay? Oh, mon dieu. Qu'est-ce qu'ils vont faire? Are we here to discuss our demands? Or are we here to eat crescent-shaped pastries? I'm here for the pastries, so... <sighs> If you didn't know the secret password, I would never let you in. Now, now, Pilar, I, I, I need you to calm down, okay? We've made enough waves as it is. Daventry needs their bridges, and gosh darn it, we need to get back to work. You'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Olfi, so easily tricked into 